Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a ring reveal from Fragrant Jewels. This is one of their newer sets since the new owners took over. It's the Scarecrow Bath Bomb from The Wizard of Oz. You can buy this individually or in a trio so you can get the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion, which is what I did. I've got all three of them. And one of the new changes they made is you can still pick your ring size, but now you can pick what kind of metal you want. So I got just the standard rhodium plated, which a majority of their products were. But if you want to, if you really like the ring collection, you can upgrade to sterling silver for an upcharge. So I like that that's an option because sometimes I would get rings I really, really love, but then they weren't sterling silver. And that matters to some people. So it's an option now, which is really cool. And each one of the Wizard of Oz bath bombs, they have different fragrances. So this one has lemongrass, musk, and cedar wood. I feel like it smelled mostly of cedar wood, but I love the color combo, the blue and the yellow. It made the water turn teal, which is like my favorite color. And it was a pretty active bath bomb. And another thing they did with the jewelry, which I'll show at the end, the cards now, they changed them so it has a name for each ring. And I like that because you could kind of tell where they got the inspiration from the rings. So like, for example, here's the one that I got. It's out of focus, but I'll show you a better picture in just a moment. I thought it was really pretty. Just looking at the card, I was like, eh. But in person, it's a really pretty ring. And this one is called the Scarecrow. And I could kind of see where they got the inspiration for that because it kind of does look like wheat or like, you know, the straw coming off the side of it and like the color of it too. So I like that. I think that's a positive change that they have different names now. Because I know in the past, like with Alice in Wonderland, I was like, what does this have to do with Alice in Wonderland? So at least now, if there's a name, you could kind of connect maybe what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to look like. And I think that's pretty cool. So if you want to see the rest of my little Oz friends, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.